Bunnies can be cute, loving, and at times extremely destructive. <laughs> Alright, now on a serious note, today I'm going to be talking about rabbit body language. Bunnies tend to be quite hard to read when it comes to like their mood, uh, but there are three big giveaways that you could look for, you know, to try to make it easier for you. The first is their nose, then comes their ears, and then last, but most important, is their body position. Since we're talking about behavior, I think I'm going to start off with, uh, you know, a calm rabbit. Most rabbits that are at rest will wiggle their nose quite a bit. Uh, the first time Houdini wiggled his nose, I was like super scared because I thought he was like hyperventilating or something. Uh, but it turns out rabbits don't even smell through their nose. Um, it might just be like kind of like a signal of interest, like that they just saw something move or something like stop moving. A rabbit at rest will also be laying down in an obviously comfortable position. Like honestly, you will know that they are practically in like bunny heaven, you know, dreaming about carrots and such. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is sadness. An unhappy rabbit will usually lay with his ears back and like the openings pressed down against his back. Uh, I do not have any footage of Houdini being sad, so I just kind of did it with my hands just as a demonstration. Fear is most clearly demonstrated by like thumping. A frightened rabbit will put his ears kind of backwards and lower them really close to the back but kind of like facing sideways rather than like fully straight. Another thing that like I like it's really disturbing rabbits scream when they're like terrified or when they're like in excruciating pain so if you ever hear a rabbit scream in your dreams uh, I feel sorry for you. If you notice that your rabbit is brushing or rubbing its chin against things, you must have a very territorial rabbit. Honestly, just let your rabbit do that, like, it does no harm, um, unless they start, like, digging and, like, eating things, like, cables and electricity things, like, there you go, that, that's a problem right there. I don't actually have any footage of Houdini being territorial, because she's spayed. Oh yeah, she's a girl, forgot to mention that, where, where? A curious rabbit will mostly like stand on their back legs and just like watch the world I guess you could say. Another thing Houdini tends to do is kind of like creep up slowly into like the object of curiosity. A rabbit will tend to present itself for grooming by coming up next to you and that's like when it really wants attention. It will probably like stretch its head forward and like put its butt and rear like kind of up higher than the rest of his body. This is like a legitimate honor and if you don't pet your rabbit, you do not deserve it because he's totally giving you your his body. Like honestly guys, just pet the poor bunny, it wants love. The last thing I think I'm going to talk about is binkies. Binkies are like the happiest rabbit expression and it's like so cute and I just love it when Houdini does this. Alrighty, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll continue making- oh my god, Peaches, why are you making so much noise, honestly. I hope you enjoy this video and just, I guess, follow me on Instagram. That's every video I freaking say that because I'm on Instagram like every second of every day. But yeah, my Instagram name is Brenda's 500 Cats and uh, yeah, this is it y'all. Bye, homie dog. In the eye.